back everyone today's video i'm going to show you the live flow alerts on spy and how you can potentially use those to find swing trades even day trades so let's start here so if you start over at unusualwills.com this will just be your main page um if you come up here to flow depending if you're already an unusual wills user you might already be in the flow but so to find the live flow alerts here, you will come on over here to your menu. So again, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff under here, um, but today we're just going to be talking about the live flow alerts. So um, quick thing before starting, if you have not used Superflow, I will be making a video on this here soon, but Superflow, you can um, have multiple windows on one screen which is very nice especially if you have limited space and only have maybe one or two monitors but um i i'm not gonna really go over that in this video but just a little tip you could do you can get your flow down here and then if you wanted your flow alerts up here but we are just gonna focus in the live flow alerts area so here we have this will show all tickers with these specific rules here. So when you see volume over open interest, repeated hits, descending fill, repeated hits. So a lot of this can be um, confusing at first, but it really isn't. So if you come up here into rules, this will give you all your flow alert rules. So what I recommend doing is obviously kind of study them, watch the flow alerts and you will eventually get a hang of it but yeah this will go over all your rules in here so yeah your repeated hits what i prefer or what i kind of really like to look for i will always look for sweeps followed by floors of repeated hits repeated chain activity i do like these low historic volume flow floors to look at too um again i mean not everything is a good trade you need to kind of dig into the trade a little more but again this will give you your full explanation on all your rules i'm not going to break down each rule here otherwise this video would be a couple hours long but yep this um page will have all your information here so we'll go right up here back to alerts and again to find those rules it'll just be right up in here so when i'm watching this i have this on its own screen but um i this will be live and i mean this is populating new information every minute every couple seconds whenever a unusual trade comes in so um this is live all day everything is it's not delayed so what i like to look for here um and how i find the trades you will um i will always first i like to see a very very one-sided trade so personally i'm i'm picky with my trades so i like to see 100 percent one way i mean you can look at 80 percent you can kind of look at whatever but i i personally will look for full 100 percent and start there so let me see if we can find a good one. And these bigger tickers like SPY, there's so much data coming in and out. And you have your days to expiration here. I mean, some are 48 for SPY, 20, 48, 20, bunch of 20s. And I mean, you'll have two days. So, I mean, there's a lot of information there with SPY and stuff. I don't really look for ETFs, but um, I kind of do like the mid caps to larger caps with this too so but again it's all user preference and you can learn and figure out what you like best but let's go down here and just see if we can find an unusual trade here so like this nvidia one two and again if you go back you can look at my um video on how to filter premiums too this is another thing that's important that i'll look for like remember um so like nvidia like two hundred thousand premium on nvidia that's pretty good that's a pretty good size to start at now if we saw this at ten thousand for premium 
it's something I probably wouldn't look at. Again, this is different for each security, so you do want to keep that in mind and maybe take a peek at my um, premium vi on how to filter versus premiums, and it'll kind of give you a refresher even if you have seen it. But continuing down here, I'm going to... And a lot of these, too, I mean, will be hedges and stuff. I mean, like, here we got 100%, 100%. I mean, and then 111 days out, I don't really like the long ones. But this, I will kind of dive into a little bit on how I use it to find swing trades, though. So um, coming down here and just looking, looking. And again, this will be populating automatically all day, so you don't have to sit and do this unless you want to after market close and go back. But let's see. So like, like this is something I might take a peek at. So we have XLE, and you have an 100%. Decent premium size, 20 days expiration. So this is something that I could consider swing trading. And again, you have to do your due di diligence and kind of have an idea of where the market is and where that security is and kind of what's going on macro-wise to, to understand and not just take a trade. But like right now we have energy down. This is October 1st, 2022. With energy's down, so... and. We have pipeline issues, and this person is saying 20 days out, they're going calls. So cheap, decent premium. So this is one cool thing about this. If you come over to any of these and you click on this, it will show you the full premium, the full trade, and it will show you what they're buying. So what I like to do with this then is I will always have another tab open with unusual whales and then go into the flow. And then we were looking at XLE. So what I do now is I would put in XLE, put in roughly 30 days to expiration just to find that info. Then put in, we'll just put in 15,000, make it a little easier. Okay, and it's not going to be nice to me. So let's do 20,000. So 20,000. And the really nice, cool thing about this is even if you're on the flow and not watching the flow alerts, let's just say you have Apple up, you will see these populate here and this is telling you this is a flow alert and you can click right on that and it will pull it up and show you the trade so that's just another thing if you're not on the live flow alerts obviously you would want that but like with this trade i mean we have some bullish flow here so i mean and again this is another thing about filtering properly this person has a sixty thousand dollar total or over 60,000 premium. It, if you filtered this to 60,000, this doesn't show just because they're smaller and broken up. So, I mean, they, you have to keep that in mind too. And again, if you go back to some of my previous videos, you will see that. But so also coming back over to the live flow alerts. So another helpful thing I will do. So we're looking at XLE. You can come up here and filter the tickers. So if I put in XLE, this will show you all the XL tree, XLE um, live flow alerts for the day. So to me, like this is, I mean, looks a little more bearish. I'm, this isn't a trade idea or anything, but again, you want to look at multiple things on this. And these ones were, they're 77, 33-ish. Um, if you come over to these and click on the volume over interest, my computer's lagging here a little. Let me go back. So if you go on, oh, and I click one that was 100%, let's go to this one. It's going to be annoying to me. Sorry, guys. So, okay. So we go over to this one that's not a full 100%. You click on repeated hits. It'll show you what is the off part there so looks like this one they're buying a bunch of 76 calls and then selling some which i mean going 
not going to go deep into all that stuff, but then you can come over in, in 88. Like, see, we have three buys, and it'll show sell. So it shows the full trade, which is nice. But let me try a smaller one. Like, I'm going to – so I called out gold in um, the Discord for the week – or last week, so it would have been nine. Last week of September, nine twenty-five. Um, I called that out using this, so I'm going to show you guys what I saw with that. And everybody in the Discord that's watching this, you obviously saw that it was a good call. We, um, yeah, they actually ended in the money, so after a day. But so I called this out. I believe it was this day. So I kept seeing these. I saw a huge size come in here on gold. We had a big premium, and I mean, we had multiple. It was very bullish flow all around. So what I did with this, went into gold, had that set for 30, let's see. So, yep, this was, and then you can see it was part of the live flow alert. Very bullish flow. Yeah, overwhelming bullish flow. So, I mean, and they're all targeting that 20-day expiration. So, 10, 21, 22. And, I mean, it's a whale when you looked at it. So, I mean, to me, then, okay, we're going to call this out as a swing trade. We have 20 days expiration. Gold, I mean... At the time, precious metals were down, 52-week low and everything. So adding everything together, I called it out as a swing trade, and we ended up in the money. Excellent trade. But, yep, so this is kind of just like the small little breakdown of your live flow alerts here. So, And, again, this is nice. You do want to keep an eye on the day's expiration Again, I mean, if we see something 111 days out, I ignore it. I personally will look for anything 30 and below for swing trades. Otherwise, that is all I have for this video, and we will be making more videos shortly. Everybody have a great evening. Goodbye.